Imagine boarding a train that doesn't touch the ground. There's no clatter of wheels, no shaking carriage, no roar of an engine. Instead, it simply glides, smooth, silent, almost like it's flying just a few centimeters above the track. Within seconds, it accelerates to breathtaking speed. That's the promise of maglev trains, short for magnetic levitation. But there's another futuristic concept making headlines, the Hyperloop. Picture a pod, shooting through a giant tube with most of the air sucked out, traveling close to the speed of sound. It's not quite science fiction, engineers are seriously working on it. In this video, we'll explore both technologies, how maglev works, the fastest trains in the world today, the futuristic dream of Hyperloop, and what all this could mean for the way humans travel in the future. So sit back and relax. Let's dive in. For most of history, trains have relied on wheels and tracks. The concept is simple, steel wheels rolling over steel rails. Efficient, yes, but also noisy, prone to friction, and limited in speed. Maglev trains turn this idea upside down. Instead of wheels touching the rails, magnets lift the train off the track. The principle is surprisingly simple. Magnets repel or attract each other depending on how you align their poles. By carefully arranging powerful magnets, engineers can make a train float above the rails, held steady by magnetic force. There are two main types of maglev. The first is electromagnetic suspension, where magnets on the train's underside are attracted to the rails and constantly adjusted by computers to keep the train hovering just millimeters above the guideway. The second is electrodynamic suspension, which uses superconducting magnets that repel the train from the track, like trying to push together the same poles of two magnets. Either way, the result feels like magic. The train floats. With no wheels touching, there's no rolling resistance. The only real thing slowing it down is air. Engineers had dreamed of this as far back as the early 20th century, sketching designs of trains that could hover. But the technology needed to build such systems, super strong magnets, advanced electronics, and powerful materials only became available in the late 20th century. By then, countries like Germany, Japan, and later China began experimenting with real maglev prototypes. So how fast can these futuristic trains go? Today, the crown for the fastest operating maglev belongs to Shanghai, China. Since 2004, passengers there have been able to ride a maglev that connects the city's airport to downtown. It reaches 431 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest commercial train service in the world. The ride lasts just about seven minutes, a short trip, but an unforgettable one. Japan, however, holds the world record. In 2015, the Japanese SC Maglev reached a staggering 603 kilometers per hour during a test run. To put that in perspective, that's almost half the speed of sound and faster than most airplanes during takeoff. Japan is now building a Maglev line between Tokyo and Nagoya expected to open in stages starting in 2027. At 500 kilometers per hour, it will cut a journey that now takes nearly two hours down to just 40 minutes. South Korea has also developed its own smaller maglev systems, mainly serving urban routes. And while Germany pioneered much of the early technology with its TransRapid system, it never built a domestic network. Instead, its technology was exported, and it became the basis of the Shanghai Line. But what if we could go even faster? That's where Hyperloop enters the story. The idea was popularized by Elon Musk in 2013, though earlier concepts date back more than a century. The principle is simple but bold. Take a maglev-style pod, put it inside a sealed tube, and suck most of the air out. With almost no air resistance, that pod could, in theory, reach speeds of over 1,000 kilometers per hour. That's nearly as fast as sound travels through air. Imagine sitting in a capsule and shooting through a near-vacuum tube, crossing vast distances in minutes. Los Angeles to San Francisco in under 45 minutes, Paris to Berlin in under an hour. The dream is breathtaking. Several companies have built small test tracks, and in 2020, Virgin Hyperloop carried two human passengers on a short demonstration ride in Nevada. But the road, or tube, to full-scale Hyperloop is filled with challenges. Building hundreds of kilometers of vacuum-sealed tubes is staggeringly expensive. Keeping the air pressure consistently low is complex, and safety remains a big question. A tiny leak or accident at such high speeds could be catastrophic. For now, Hyperloop remains experimental, Exciting? Absolutely. Realistic in the short term? Probably not. But it shows just how ambitious human imagination can be when it comes to the future of travel. Speed is thrilling. But Maglev and Hyperloop aren't just about going fast. They also promise to reshape how we think about travel itself. Take sustainability. 
Conventional high-speed trains are already cleaner than airplanes, but maglev goes even further. With no friction from wheels, maglevs are highly energy efficient, and if powered by renewable energy, they could produce almost zero emissions. Hyperloop, at least in theory, could be even more energy efficient since there's so little air drag. There's also the passenger experience. Imagine traveling long distances without turbulence, without the cramped cabins of airplanes, and without the constant stop-and-go traffic of cars. Maglev trains glide smoothly, almost silently, and since they operate on dedicated tracks, they can avoid the delays that plague conventional rail systems. Then there's connectivity. High-speed trains can link city centers directly, unlike planes that require long journeys to airports. That makes them especially appealing for journeys of 300 to 1,000 kilometers, trips that are too far for driving, but too short to justify the hassle of flying. Of course, the vision doesn't come without obstacles. The biggest is cost. Building a maglev line costs far more than laying conventional rail. Specialized tracks, land acquisition, tunnels, and bridges all add up. The Tokyo to Nagoya maglev line, for example, is expected to cost tens of billions of dollars. For many governments, that's a tough sell. Hyperloop faces even bigger hurdles. Beyond construction costs, it requires a completely new infrastructure that doesn't exist anywhere yet. And because it hasn't been tested on a large scale, safety regulators are cautious. No one wants to step into a pod traveling at near supersonic speeds until it's proven absolutely safe. There's also politics. Building new transportation systems requires not just money, but also agreements between cities, regions, and nations. Routes have to be chosen. Landowners and communities have to be convinced. These debates can take decades, slowing progress even when the technology is ready. So what does the future look like? For Maglev, the future is already arriving. Japan's Sea Maglev project is well underway, and China is steadily testing new trains and expanding its vision for a 600 km per hour line. South Korea and other nations are experimenting with their own systems, and interest is spreading as the need for greener, faster transport grows. Hyperloop's future is less certain, but the dream is alive. If even one country manages to build a large-scale working system, it could spark a new era of near-supersonic ground travel. But perhaps the most likely future is a mix. Conventional high-speed trains will continue to expand. Maglev will carve out routes in places willing to invest heavily. And Hyperloop will remain on the horizon. An exciting idea that may or may not break through. Yet, regardless of which technology wins, the vision is clear. Humans want to move faster, cleaner, and smoother across the planet. From the first sketches of magnetic trains over a century ago to the record-breaking maglevs of today, we've already come a long way. And with Hyperloop, we're daring to imagine something even more extraordinary. These technologies aren't just about speed, they're about connection, shrinking the distances between cities, countries, and people. They're about sustainability, finding cleaner ways to move in a warming world. And they're about imagination, taking a step closer to a future where the impossible becomes real. Perhaps one day soon, when we say we're catching a train, it won't mean wheels on rails at all. It will mean levitating silently above the ground, or gliding through a near-empty tube at the speed of sound. The age of travel is changing. And the future? It just might float. If you love exploring the future of smart travel and cutting-edge technology, hit like and subscribe. Join our journey for more innovations in tech-powered transportation.